Welcome to Cathedral. I'm Father Greg Sackowitz. Special thanks again to David Jonas and Mark Teresi. Wonderful, wonderful music. David and Mark, week in and week out. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Special thanks again to Paula Colleen, our director, producer, choreographer, dance director, the whole thing. Does a great job with B-roll. Paula, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for a job very well done. Third Sunday in Ordinary Time. January is quickly moving so fast, and so far the January Chicago weather has not been bad. Hope it stays that way. A couple is married 50 years, and Charlie says to Tony, Tony, how have you done it? 50 years of marriage, that's incredible. And Tony says, simply, for our 25th wedding anniversary, we went to Italy for our 25th. For our 50th, I'm going to pick her up. <laughs> I really like that joke. Now that is funny. Third Sunday in Ordinary Time. Start this way. Johnny was 12 years old and went to the movies with his mother. In the box office, the mother says, one adult and one child. The voice says, but mom. The mother kicks the boy in the shins and repeats, one adult and one child. As he approached the lobby of the theater, the boy says, but you know, Mom, I turned 12 two weeks ago. And Mom says, that's okay. Everyone's doing it. At 16, John landed his first job in a supermarket. He takes a few candy bars on his way out into the oversized jacket of his coat and says to himself, it's okay. Everyone does it. Johnny begins his college career one day he's approached by another student and asked if he wanted to buy some tests. He did and was caught for cheating and sent home. His parents were terribly disappointed and said, son, how could you have done such a dishonest thing? You have disgraced us and the family. And Johnny replied, but everyone does it. We listened in today's gospel, repent the kingdom of God is at hand. And a little later on, come after me. Jesus calls us to change our lives and to find our way back to him. For our baptism calls us to a life of service and love in the Lord. Shortly after World War II ended and Europe beginning was to pick up the pieces, perhaps the sightest saddest sight of all was seeing little orphan children starving in the streets. Europe had been blown apart. Many parents had died. Many children had died. Early one chilly morning, an American soldier was making his way back to the barracks, and he noticed he turned a corner, a little 10-year-old girl with her face plastered against the glass of a bakery shop, just plastered against it, looking at all the baked goods the croissants, the donuts, the bread. And the American soldier quietly walked into the bakery, made a purchase, came outside, gave the girl the bag of goodies that he had just purchased. Never said a word. He's walking down the street, and all of a sudden he feels on his jacket a tug. And the little girl says, as a, a soldier turns around, she looks up to him and says, Mr. Are you God? Mr. Are you God? He smiled and just turned away. And again in today's gospel, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Come, follow me. Come after me. Jesus calls us to change our lives and to find our way back to him. Our baptism calls us to a life of service and love in the Lord. In a penis cartoon, Linus is watching television. Into the room storms Lucy, putting 
her fist right in his face, Lucy demands that Linus change the channel to what she wants to watch. And Linus says, what makes you think you can just walk right in here and take over? Linus insists. Lucy shouts back, these fingers, individually, they are nothing. When I curl them together into a single unit, they form a weapon that is terrible to behold. Linus shrinks. Okay, what channel would you like to watch? As Lucy takes her place in front of the TV, Linus turns away and looks at his own fingers and says, why can't you guys get organized like that? We must put on Christ, not with clenched fists, but rather with open hands in love, mercy, forgiveness, in giving. Be Christ to others. <clears throat> Jesus calls us to change our lives and to find our way back to him by loving those around us in his name. We must make visible the invisible God in our world, despite all the bigotry, the violence, the hatred. Together, Jesus says to all of us, repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Come after me, come follow me. The story is told about someone coming to the gates of heaven and meeting St. Peter. And Peter asked him, do you really believe in the cross of Jesus Christ? And the man answered, yes, I do. But the man was refused entrance into heaven. So he protested and said, why can't I come into heaven? I believe in the cross of Christ. And St. Peter replied, where are your wounds? Where are your wounds? We need to become the hands, the feet, the eyes and ears of Jesus Christ. We must love this world back into life. Not an easy task. Think about this for a moment. The only failure in life that is truly tragic is not to try and fail, but rather to fail to even try. And on this date, January 22nd, 1973, 50 years ago today, Roe versus Wade, we pray for an end to abortion. God bless all of you. Blessings this week and hopefully continued no snow. Amen. me.